Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is the first Tuesday of the month, and you regulars know what that means. It is time for Unreal Engine Christmas in July. You get a bunch of free assets. They are yours to keep forever, so long as you purchase them before the first Tuesday in August. And let's, without further ado, jump in and take a look at this month's assets. The first one we got here is quite bizarre. Okay, the end of my puns. This is The Bazaar. Uh, it is a, well, it's a bazaar, uh, a uh, Middle Eastern marketplace, kind of a medieval era a lot of post-processing going on here, so it actually runs like crap on my computer. Uh, but uh, you can see here all the stuff that's in here. You got some nice indoor-outdoor space. Uh, definitely a nice-looking asset. So let's just do a quick fly through the bazaar. Uh, is it bazaar? Because it's spelled B-A, bazaar. I don't think it's actually a word I've ever said before, but uh, here we go. Yeah, so that is what you get. Let's go take a quick look at the overview map for this guy. And here it is. This one's pretty straightforward. It's a bunch of ready-to-go assets for uh, kind of an Arabian Nights-style marketplace. Uh, you see here, number of pieces go together, modular for creating the architecture here. Uh, we've got some interior things here, such as a hearth, some uh, cabinetry, bowls, and so on. Over here, we got a variety of window arches and dressings for around your environment. Uh, we got some tent tops, and yeah, that's about it. And then got some plants going on there. And as you can see, they are animated. So that is the bazaar. Uh, next up, we have the Big Niagara Bundle. Now, this is a collection of 13 packs, 453 total effects. Uh, Niagara Particle Systems, you can see one such example going on right here. Well, actually, you can see several such examples going on right here. Uh, pretty much drop-in ready uh, Niagara-based particle systems here. They're spread out over a number of different uh, demos. Let's pull up a different set right here. And come on. Let's go. Oh, I got to really zoom in for this guy. Oh, no, here we go. So you got kind of a solar system expanding, solar flare kind of look going on here. Uh, yeah, so basically a variety of different effects uh, for Niagara Particle Systems. Uh, and we'll check out one last example in this pack, and that is the holograms, because holograms are cool. Okay, let's open that one up. And, oops, did not want to do that one, I think. I think I want to do this one, but we'll find out what that opens up. And give them a second, so they're loading in right now. So here you can see a number of different hologram effects, such as our solar system. Uh, we got our planet, uh, was a helio coil. Uh, we got some other stuff going on here, probably different holographic effects. So we got like a city here inside of a, another effect. And here we got a 3D city in general. So that's what you're getting with this one. Again, it is a total of 453 Niagara based particle effects in that pack. Now, the next thing I can't really show you because it is an engine plugin, but once you plug it in, it is called landscaping, and it adds this guy right here. You're going to have to actually add it to the engine, and then go into the plugins, and you will find it under landscaping. It's uh, this guy right here. There is a link to the documentation here as well, by the way. And what this one allows you to do is import GIS, which I have to assume the acronym isn't actually JIS, but that's how I would say GIS. But basically, this is scientifically oriented data sets that you can plot in 3D. So if you want to bring in real world scans, a lot of times you'll find uh, various different countries actually release um, GIS data. Uh, and you see here this is available in a variety of different input formats you could bring it in. Uh, you got controls over how it will bring the landscape material to be applied to it. Um, you can bring in satellite materials if you got it. So you got various different settings here for importing in uh, from scientific data. And that is exactly what landscape is all about. All the other details are available down here. Uh, getting a hold of this data can be more of a challenge. This one's going to be more specialized. If you're not dealing with real world scan scientific data, uh, probably not that useful to you, but if you are using those data sets or you want to recreate real world environments, uh, landscaping may be a cool plugin for you. Now, this plugin is absolutely, oh, this next add on is absolutely uh, brutal, uh, literally. This is the brutalist environment. Uh, it is, uh, it's very, very brutal. Uh, this is an architectural design, it's basically for like cold, concrete environments. Um, I think one of the most classic examples, have you ever seen Loki? Uh, I think that the, where that was actually filmed, uh, that the Time Bureau or whatever the hell they were called, I think that was one of the classic examples of brutalist architecture out there. 
But as you can see here, it is kind of like the Blade Runner aesthetic, but this actually exists in the real world. Uh, it's very cold. Uh, some people love Brutalist design, uh, other people not so much. I think I'm a little bit more in the not so much category personally, uh, but this is actually a really cool uh, add-on for a couple of reasons. First off, we're looking at uh, an interior space here, like this guy right here. Uh, but there's a lot more to this guy than you realize. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look. This guy is controlled by blueprints. Let's play around with this guy a little bit. So here are a variety of different blueprints you can drop into your world. So for example, uh, environments, you have pipes, pillars, doors, so on, stairs that you can use together. So if you need some stairs, boom, drop some stairs into the world. But where this actually gets quite impressive is if you go back to the buildings. So let's go to the blueprints. We'll go to buildings. And you see here you've got multi-story different buildings. So we can do a blueprint building like this guy over here. Um, and this is a brutalist building from the outside, right? So, but one thing you'll notice here is they're all very configurable. So you've got control over how to work with it. So right now it is five stories. I could make it two stories or I could make it 22 stories like so. Uh, you've got control obviously over the random seed. So let's give this 90210 treatment or 9210. All right, there you go. So there is a different result of it. And then you got control over a variety of different things. So like on the front, I could say have windows. Should we give them decorations? Yes, give them decorations. Uh, like so corner decorations available as well. Um, then you got control over each of the sides and we could go all the way up to the roof, which I made quite high in this particular scenario because 22 stories and all. But we could go up to the roof like this, and we've got control over how the roof is generated as well, so we could put decorations on the roof and so on. So this is uh, more than just what it looks like on the tin, uh, but even just looking at it on the tin, for creating an environment like what we see in action here, this is pretty cool. Uh, but the fact that it comes with those configurable blueprints for creating buildings, etc., uh, that is even cooler in my humble opinion. This is probably my favorite asset of the bunch, even though I personally am not that keen on the brutalist architecture in the first place. And then we've got one last asset, and that would be the Goblin Warrior Modular. So these are uh, animated goblins. So again, if we go look at them, they just have an idle animation attached to them. And you see here, we'll walk around in this world a little bit. There's all um, being configured kind of modular in nature to these guys. Uh, so this is all basically the same set of animations, etc., controlling everything here. So you go over here and check it out. So you've got a variety of different animations. So you've got things like the attack animation, like so, and then you've got individual components being animated as well. So here, uh, weapons, different weapon sets during different animations, and they all kind of can be put together to create a variety of different uh, goblin styles. Then in terms of the goblins, uh, let's open up the other demo map. You can, you can create a couple of different varieties out of them because you've got, uh, oops, okay, I have it on super fast because of my 22 story building. Go take a quick look around here. So you've got a variety of animations available here on them, and you can see different uh, sets you can create. So a standard goblin, and then we've got like an ice goblin over here, and then we've got like a goblin mages and so on. So if you need to have a fully animated modular goblin in your world, this is a very specialized pack, of course. Uh, but you see here, you got a variety of different weapons to go with them as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the goblin warrior uh, modular. So, quick recap time. The first one we started off with was the Bazaar. I don't know if it's actually said Bazaar. Correct me in the comments down below. Uh, 250 assets total using Nanite for Unreal Engine 5. Uh, mid to high-end production. Again, you saw it chug a little bit on my machine. There's 250 assets in there with 40 different prefabs. Uh, works with UE4 and UE5. Uh, straightforward uh, content type uh, asset. Kind of would probably mesh with the uh, City of Sands thing that they already gave away. Uh, then we've got the uh, Big Niagara Bundle. This was a huge collection of Niagara particle effects uh, across, again, there's something like, yeah, 453 of them across 13 different packs. So if you're looking for some uh, variety of different uh, packs here, so you got things like weather, uh, abstract, black and white constellations, holograms, and so on in this bundle. Then we've got the landscaping plugin. This is for importing GIS. And if you tell me, you don't say jizz. I'm assuming it's not pronounced jizz, but it's jizz. I don't know. Uh, is there an acronym for that one? If there is something other than, uh, you know, jizz, uh, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, this imports jizz data as a single landscape, world partition, or world composition. It generates weight maps, spline actors, and more. So you got a lot of control over how that data is brought in. So if you want to have access to the scientific style data, uh, you can bring it in and over and it kind of gives that functionality uh, to Unreal Engine. Again, if, if you're in the market for that one, it's probably the most interesting thing in this bundle. Uh, but if you're not 
using that kind of data, probably no use to you. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Brutalist Architecture Office. Those are 250 models, building blueprints, 70 blueprints, and so on. Again, uh, the blueprints were really cool in the fact that they're configurable, more modular, so you can create you know, an infinite variety of uh, buildings using this pack. And then finally, we have the Goblin Warrior Modular uh, set of goblins, uh, basically animated goblins uh, that you use out of um, you know different pieces to build up different results, all fully animated, etc. If you want to grab these guys, they're available here in the free for the month category. Quite literally, go to the free for month category. I'm doing this slightly in advance. You're seeing uh, different results here. Actually, you're seeing something completely wrong anyways. So all of them will be updated to the ones we just saw. Just literally just go add to cart, 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 and check out, and they are yours to keep forever. As I ask every time, what do you think of this month's collection? Are these helping to convert you over to the Unreal Engine cause? Are you using them in another engine? Which, by the way, you can do. I've covered that a couple of times in the past on how you can do that. Or, you know, are you just hoarding them for maybe future usage? I would actually highly recommend that. Even if you're not using Unreal Engine, just keep buying this stuff. Air quotes around buy. And you're going to have this giant collection of assets after uh, like a very short period of time. My, my Unreal Engine asset store is just gigantic thanks to a couple of years of doing these. So that is the July July giveaway. What do you think of this month's contents? Let me know. Comments down below. Also, let me know how you pronounce bizarre and how do you pronounce GIS. Uh, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.